So look, bro, another reaction video. And um, the hood vlogs, man, I like them. Y'all like them. They raw. They unedited. Well, I can, they uncut sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I can really, really get into the reaction. And y'all really get into it, too. Another thing about the comments, bro, I see the love. I promise y'all. Every comment, I see it. Almost. It's just that I can't reply to, you know what I'm saying? I probably get like 10 or 20 out the way, but to the ones I don't reply to, bro, I see the comment. And with that being said, first comment is on the other channel, the DJAY Ghost. I'm gonna leave that link in the description. How it works, listen to me. I have to explain this for the newbies too. I know the OGs are like, bro, we already know what to do. But look, how it works. You gotta be first comment on the channel, all right? After you the first comment, I'm gonna pin your comment. When I pin it up top, I'm gonna say, what's your cash app? When I say, what's your cash app, you give me your cash app and I'm gonna send it to you. Another thing, you gotta answer within five minutes after me saying, what's your cash app? I'm not gonna be going back looking every hour, every two, no, nah, bro, it's an easy $50. Another thing to you scammers, bro, I want y'all to go to the, uh, to the link in my description. The last video I dropped, which is hilarious, is pinned up top to where y'all think y'all really try to finesse me, bro. I will pin someone up. Yo, say your name is Juice Boy. I pin your comment. I say, bro, what's your cash app? Do you know somebody so fast will go to their YouTube channel, rename their channel Juice Boy, and take old boy picture off his, uh, you know, his profile picture, put it on there, and then respond with the comment. My comment is whoopty whoop whoop, ghost. I be catching that. I do, bro. First comment. How didn't win? I was first. Y'all don't see who first I do. Y'all do not see who first I do. Y'all understand when y'all look at YouTube, I can have 10 video views, but 800 likes. They be like, how that happened? YouTube is slow, bro. I see the first comment. Other than that, we get into this reaction video. I be having to let y'all know, bro. We got newbies on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. 83rd and uh, Hooper. I lost one of, one of my best friends here, man. Shout out to the Duff family. I'd rather go to a store that's two or three blocks further away because I know it's safer for me and man, I don't want to get shot. I was just about to say something he said before he said shot. Bro, a store two or three blocks away is still in the same neighborhood. I can understand he said two or three cities, but they said they was on Hooper. 83rd and Hooper, if you're still in the neighborhood, bro, two or three blocks away, it's not that, it ain't that much of a difference. Yeah, yeah. Make it clap for the camera one time. Yeah, man, what are you doing, scary? With what ass? Hold on. She ain't scared, she just lost it, it ain't there, look. Make it clap for the camera one time. Yeah, man, what are you doing? What you gonna clap? Scary? Swipe, 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 Vlogs from LA neighborhoods. Hey, what's up, guys? It's a beautiful day in the Compton. Hood Blooming vlogs, what up? I'm out here for Bully's video shoot. He's right here. Blizzo. What's the deal, man? It's Blizzo. Had to support my day one nigga right here, man. You already know BB in the building. Real wax side, baby. It's the yeah, I just better not get copyrighted for this shit. Towards the end of the village, touring away. It's that gang slide video right here featuring me and my nigga TG right here. You already know how we coming, man. Whole lot of gang shit, man. Gang slide. Gang man. It's the life of the You know we coming, man. Twins are here. They know the whole movement, man. It's regular, man. It's regular, man. It's regular. It's, regular. it's, regular. it's the lifestyle we live in, baby. They got what hood is this? I don't see nobody banging. I ain't hear nothing on whoopty whoop whoop. I don't see no flags. I don't see no gang signs. Some music coming too, like every every month or so. I'm gonna introduce you guys to ER. He's a friend of Ronan, uh, the guy you see a lot in my videos. Uh, he showed us Boil Heights before, and he's been like in quite a few of my videos. Him and ER, his friend ER, the guy. Bro, I'm jocking that. I'm not even lying. He got the air fresheners hanging from the door handle up top, or is that like a coat hang? Whatever they call it, bro. I am still in that. I know how ghetto it look having to hang from your mirror. And then you can get an asshole cop that will give you a ticket because a lot of y'all don't know, or y'all do know, whatever. I'm saying it anyway. Hanging anything from your mirror in the middle, like, you're, you, you, that's a ticket. If they really want to give you one, you can't have nothing hanging from there, bro. 
Cosby on some different shit. Uh, they got a song together, and uh, I directed a music video for them. So I hope you guys check it out and like it. Um, the song is about pretty much haters. <laughs> it's about a little bit about the comments they'll be getting on uh, music videos and uh, vlogs and stuff. I'm taking right now to the East Coast uh, hood. That's where ER is from. He, he's not a gang member. Hood vlogs. He got the camera. And I be telling y'all, I used to, when I started doing YouTube, I used to have, like, ghost, give us a point. Woo -woo -woo. I seen it with big YouTubers that got 5 million subscribers and little YouTubers that got 5 subscribers. When you get you a camera, it got a flip out, all right? So you can go ahead and see yourself. You got a video little flip out thing. While you vlogging, you can see yourself. Where a lot of people make the mistake, bro, is why they talking to the camera? They looking at the video like this, like, yeah, so we got a wooty whoop whoop and wooty whoop whoop, and they ain't paying no attention. We can see that. Vloggers, up and coming vlog, do not look at the screen that you can flip out, bro. Stay up in the lens. You connect more, you know what I'm saying? Because doing all this, it seemed like you shot. Or anything like that, but that's where he grew up at. He will show us his, a little bit of his neighborhood and where he grew up at, so you guys know him before I post the, vi the video. Don't be surprised when you see that music video. It's gonna be, I think by the end of the year, it's gonna be, it's called Stay Be Stunting. That's the one that I, I directed. And then uh, there's gonna be a video for Easy Beasy, Go Crazy. That one I shot most so of. So he direct videos I guess too? I directed it too, so. That's why they're gonna be on uh, my main channel. If you guys like how they turn out, I might post more if you like it. But I'm not trying to push music videos on this channel. What's up, Hood Vlogs? I want to introduce you to my friend, ER. Yo, what it do? All them negative. That introduction was so scripted. <laughs> it was Comments, so scripted, bro. we got something bro. coming for you. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take it, man. We take that energy and we turn it. Okay, so he said, oh boy, don't bang. He just grew up over there. This is finna be dope. I'm gonna tell you why. Because a lot of people don't understand or they don't know the lifestyle of a person in L.A. And I'm talking about people out of L.A. They don't understand the lifestyle of a person that grew up in the hood, the heart of a hood, and don't even bang. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be dope. It's positive, so that's what it's all about. Lawrence Firestone area, no, uh, formerly known as Twilight Zone, uh, mm -hmm. East Coast Hood, 81st and Zamora. Uh, this is my backyard. We're gonna show you around, give you a little tour of what's happening. We got a little box of things if you wanna hit the weights. My uncle is uh, Jack Mosley, Sugar Shane Mosley's pops. So, uh, uh, if you know Sugar Shane Mosley, that's my uh, cousin. That's my cousin. My pop. So, why didn't you just say Sugar Shane, my cousin, instead of Jack? Well, get rid of oh, this truck. Uh, my brother's trying to sell this Corvette right here. Uh, we got Ain't our getting uh, it's a regular backyard, you know. It's uh, it's what you get. Well, in on the bro got all the waste body out there. Nobody look at his body. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> look why I said that, bro. What kind of that's that's negative five pounds, bro. How? Anyway, what I was about to say is he got all the waste out there and don't look like he work out at all. I hope that's somebody little kid that's growing up and trying to train for that because, bro, what are you doing with them little bitty ass weights? Thinking? What are you doing with the little bitty ass? <laughs> yeah, we got our ghetto weights. <laughs> that's not even a curl bar. That's uh, like a dick pull up. It's a regular backyard, you know. It's uh, it's what you get well in on the east side. You know, this is the east. Everywhere side. in LA, they got day, they got whites outside. Rob used to be a bunch of people hanging out. I remember when I was young, they'd be in here drinking, smoking, having fun. You know, the Mosley House of Joy, and there was always some action going on. You know, like they're still drinks. doing it. <laughs> and uh, uh, this right here is the bathroom, and um. Like I said, my, my family, uh, you know. Is that an outside bathroom? And uh, this right here is the bathroom. And um, that gotta be an outside bathroom because why walk around the house and just point out the bathroom from outside? Like I said, my, my family, uh, you know, 
into boxing and stuff. So we have our own little uh, little boxing mat, you know, so we can get our get our shit on, you know. <laughs> You know, so we got that. Yeah, no. This garage is like a bunch of family history in it. This is another uh, another little shack right here. What uh, my uh, I used to stay in a little bit. I was like the clubhouse back in the days. Let me see if I can open the alley up right here. I think we can open this up. When I grew up around here. It was tough, man. We grew up in around the crack epidemic. Uh, it was a lot of beef with the Florencias and East Coast Hood. And then across Central, you had the Swan. Is bro Mexican or is he mixed? I'm kind of lost. You know what I'm saying? Think about how he naming all these hoods right now, right? Think about growing up in L.A. When you don't bang... The hood you living in, it's not like they'll give you a pass. Like, bro, you don't bang with me. If they know you don't bang, they'll just leave you alone. It's not like the movies to where you get peer pressure and pressure to join the gang and all that type. It's not like that, bro. One thing about that is when you grow up over there, you born and raised over there, all your homies from elementary school to junior high school, they grow up with you. Y'all day ones. You grew up over there. But the same route you took of not banging, they took the route of banging. And just because they start banging don't mean they not your homies no more. You get what I'm saying? So you still, just like y'all was kids, at the park together, bro. Ride around on dirt bikes together. What happens? Like I said, when you grow up over there, the hood know you don't bang. They leave you alone. Like, bro, Ben grew up over here. That been my day one, even though I'm from... The coldest thing about that is... People from the outside of your neighborhood don't give you that pass. The enemies of that hood you live in. So say one of them fools come to your hood on the low, try to try to fuck some female over there. You don't bang, but he see you out there with all the bangers. Two days later, you at the mall. You run into him and his homies. Hey, that's old boy from Ruthie Whoop. I went to go fuck this bitch over there. And uh, he was with him outside at the park. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's the coldest part about it. That's how a lot of people get smacked in L.A. I'm not lying. You are guilty by association. When you grow up in a neighborhood and you're not from there, you're still from there. You're just not from that actual gang. But you're still from that neighborhood. And it's a lot of people that just won't give you a pass. You can tell somebody you don't bang, they're going to tell you you're lying. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, where I used to go to high school at Fremont. Um, and, uh, but it's kind of mellowed out now. When I grew up here, uh, I knew everybody on the block. Um, from the neighbors to people across the street. The bangers. Uh, I had a, it was probably like six or seven of us, a group of friends that all grew up together here around the corner. So, like, this neighborhood is pretty much like, you know, you know everybody. It's a, it's a community. It's a community, and it's, it's a still growing community, and... Uh, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to show that, show that, put, put the community on the map. I work in the motion picture business, he works in the motion picture business, and we were both acting on a, on a movie, and that's how we met and we became friends. We both do rap music, so that became uh, the foundation of the friendship. You know, the music brought us together, and we got a whole couple, couple albums together. Yeah. Like album. We got one joint album, and then uh, I'm featured on a couple of his albums, he's on a couple of mine. So. I'm glad that we were able to put, uh, South Central and Boyle Heights together what happened to and create some gumbo with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like uh, Game of Thrones, you know, ice and fire. We in like kitchen hood. Uh, which I just did a video on the kitchens up in Memphis. Bro walking around there like that because I believe everybody know him and he just respected. Not respected as a gangbanger. But respected as not being a game bag. You know, he don't want no problems. He ain't starting no problems. He ain't looking for no smoke, bro. You just living. Everybody that grew up in the hood don't bang. You know what I'm saying? They 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 don't. Which is like literally like two, two, three blocks from where I stay. Mm -hmm. I lost one of one of my best friends here, man. Shout out to the Dove family. His name was Ernest Dove. His family moved down here. Uh, down the street from where we at right now and uh, one day he was walking to the corner store over here where we're we gonna walk They shot him up man, so 
Uh, he was my best friend. Hey, you know what's crazy? His best friend, I'm not saying he did, I don't know. I'm just saying if he did. His best friend probably took another path in the game banking. He said he grew up with him. This is normal in LA, bro. I don't think you can run into one person that haven't lost nobody um, to gun violence, to gang violence. Put it like that, to gang violence, bro. And when people was on a mission, you got some fools that when they slide, bro, they don't care if you bang or not. If you look, if you look like them, and this is what I mean, bro. This is why I used to say, it's like we subconsciously hate ourselves and we don't, but we do, but we don't. So when hoods is sliding, bro, when you and your homies get up in the car, you feel like, well, I'm about to go to the bloods and do this whoopty whoop whoop. I'm about to go to this crib and do it. You know what I'm saying? When y'all sliding, bro, and you finally hit they hood, you can see two people walking down the street. And I'm talking about, you ready to drill something, you and all your homies, burners in hands, they got them cocked up, y'all ready to do the thing, you know what I'm saying? You see two people walking down the street. They can be the biggest gang bangers in the world. But he got a book bag, another book up in his hand, some suspenders on, with some penny loafers, some thick, thick glasses, and he walking. Y'all know what square walk? He got the squarest walk in the world, him and his homie. The fools that slide and they ready to chip something up in that neighborhood, they gonna let them walk past. This is why I be saying subconsciously we hate ourselves and we don't. When these niggas is sliding and they ready to smoke something, they gonna ride past the fools that look like squares and they build computers. They looking for somebody that look just like them, that dress like them, that got a fitted on with a chain, a watch, some Gucci shoes or probably some jazz. They looking for somebody that look just like them. That's who they gonna smoke. It is, bro, and, it, and, it, and it's crazy. It's not grant that photo to where you fail RP if you don't initiate first, like, where y'all from? What set you from? And then you start shooting, it ain't like that. When the enemies is sliding, they see you, they busting, they ain't saying nothing. Sometimes they is, sometimes they ain't. They just ain't, you know what I'm saying? So right now we on the corner of 83rd and uh, Hooper. Hooper. I couldn't identify with that. I had a friend who got shot at a corner store and about two blocks from where I grew up and I never went back to that store. I'd rather go to a store that's two or three blocks further away because I know it's safer for me. And Okay. In the beginning, I'm like, bro, it's still going. It's still not that safe, but I see why he said it now. In the beginning, they just only had a clip of this. They only had a clip of it. But LA is like, you damn if you do, damn if you don't. Everybody try to get where they need to go, do what they need to do, and get their ass back home. But it's a lot of people that really want to make sure that don't happen for you. People leave their house looking for a hit to lick, looking for somebody to rob, looking for somebody to smoke, looking for a female to f It's a lot of people out there with no goals, bro. And I'm talking about goals for themselves as a, like, better in them as a man. Niggas is looking to take, take, smoke, and, 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 and kill for what they want. Gotta be on point, bro, for real, cause I tell you all the time, you can leave your house, but it's not a guarantee you're gonna make it back to your bed, bro. Sis, it's not. I don't want to get shot. Welcome to the Hooper Market, guys. Keep coming. Taking you guys to birthday party. <laughs> Most of the people who came here, you already know them from my videos. Tell them what for the tube right God damn, John. Okay, I'm convinced. Yeah, I'm convinced they be having these functions for the vlogs, which is cool. It's just that I kept on questioning it and so questioning, I kept on questioning it. I kept on questioning, I kept on qu questioning it. I kept on questioning it. Yeah, it's not just me, try it. What the fuck? I can't keep on, I keep on questioning it. Questioning it, 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 it. How you, I keep on questioning it. Mm-mm. That's another one. I'll be catching it sometimes. Like, you remember like three months ago in that video, I was like, other than that, 
other than that. It's, nobody says other than that. We all say other than that. Other than that. It's just like one word. Now this question, and it's, get, it's, it's getting to me. Not even lying. I keep on questioning it. I keep on questioning it. Ain't nobody saying the whole thing like that, bro. It's questioning in it. Time out. We missed him. Hey. Bro, loaded. Hold on. He can't swim. Right, so. You got 10 minutes, like Damo. Y'all come at the same time. Everybody must go. Drummer. Where he at? That's that little function. Yeah, that's up. But look, there's like 20 people outside. I know you ain't no bitch. Who the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, we right here at my cousin Drew party. Just had a little pool party. That shit was cracking. We got the trampoline back there. We got, what's name? As you can tell, a nigga horse and all that nigga been jumping in the water. The air want to make this little boot. Yeah, I'm gonna get at y'all on the next one, bro. Shout out Hood Vlogs. Y'all keep it cool how y'all be cool, man. 100.